welcome back. Today I've bought a utensils which is the wooden spoon, symbol of the sauce making in France because we are doing our sauce series and I thought I'm going to bring this along because it's a really symbolic item. Now, today we're going to be talking about tomato sauce. Every country has got their own version on how to make them. The most well known, the Italian tomato sauce. But in France, like every country, we do have our own version of the tomato sauce that we use for pasta, raviolis, but also that we mix with other base sauces to create even more sauces. And we're going to jump in and I'm going to show you exactly how to make the true one and only French tomato sauce. All right, back on the stove. As you can see, I've already jump started uh, the butter. We're going to start our tomato sauce, the French tomato sauce. Uh, which comprise a lot of ingredients. We got butter, we got bacon, we got parsley, onion, carrots, tomato puree, stock, garlic, and more. But the very first step to make your tomato sauce, you need to make a roux, all right? So first thing, we're gonna get our butter to a nice little temperature. And then we're gonna chop, uh, sorry, we're gonna throw in some bacon. That's the very, very first step. All right, our butter is now at temperature. And as you can see, my bacon is simmering gently without coloration. Next step, we're throwing in carrots and onions. I'm gonna put everything in. Mix it all. And once again, I'm going to leave this to cook or simmer to remove the water that's in the vegetable. So just a few minutes, you leave it to simmer in the butter. What you're doing next, you pour your flour. And that will, of course, create what we've seen before which is a roux, okay? Now this is a roux with obviously pieces of vegetables and stuff, but the technique is exactly the same. Our roux have been simmering now for five minutes and it's got that nice little blondish kind of color. It's very difficult to see on the camera, but at this stage, you're gonna be adding the tomato puree. And this is gonna become what we call a tomato based roux. So once the tomato is in, this is your base. And you're just gonna leave it to cook for two minutes, just simmer, just to remove that little extra acidity in the tomato puree. And when it's done, you put your fire off and you're gonna let the mix cool down on the side of the stove until it's cold. Okay, we're back. So. I've got my roux, it's been cooling down on the side for a nice 15 minutes. As you can see, I've cleaned my pan in the meantime. And I've got my water and stock that I bring to the boil, like we did for the bechamel. And this is gonna be exactly the same technique as what we've seen before. Remember, no fire. So you take your red roux, and you put it in your pan. Step number one. Right. Then you add your boiling stock, half of the liquid on your roux. And we're gonna start slowly mixing. So you can see that nice consistency and making a mess here, no worries. We can add the rest of the stock. And I'm going to mix, making sure there is no lumps like you see here. So you get rid of all these lumps to make sure that everything is nicely detached. Okay. And when everything has been separated, you can put your fire on high. And once again, like the bechamel, we're going to have to bring this to the boil. Now, before we do, 
when you have all these things, I'm gonna add the rest, which is my tomato mix, which is basically diced tomatoes. All right. So we've got a nice consistency, a nice flavor of tomato. I've got a mix of garlic and shallots, a homemade bouquet garni. All right. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and a hint of pepper. And I'm gonna leave this on the side and bring it to the boil. As you can see, the first boils appeared on my, uh, the surface of my tomato sauce. So I'm gonna give it one stir. I put the fire off. And I'm gonna put my sauce in the oven at 160 degrees Celsius for around one hour of time. I've just taken out the tomato sauce from the oven and let's have a look at the result. Oh, very nice. So the last step is gonna consist of sieving the whole mix. So I'm gonna pass my tomato sauce through a sieve to get rid of the aromatic base and we're gonna be left only with the end product. In order to finish, the last step is a nudge of butter in your tomato sauce and you're gonna swirl it and leave it to melt on the side. You can then reserve that sauce and start to use it in any kinds of dishes, preparation of your choice. So that concludes our video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.